104.5, the team, your home for New York sports. Silovac and Rotenberg on the on the air right now. And uh, so, another embarrassing game. Just embarrassing. Oh my gosh! This is supposed to be the heavyweight matchup. This is this is Ali Frazier of the NBA. Take three. Yeah, and it's and it's just the Cavs land on the mat. You know, I, I hate to say it as as somebody who works in sports on a daily basis. First off, I didn't finish the game last night. No, I mean as soon as they went on the run in the third quarter. As soon as Steph, you know, Steph bip bop LeBron, I was like, all right, get out of here. I get this over. You know, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's terrible. I had, fe- off, I had fear of the walking dead in the DVR. I, I hopped <laughs> over. I'm not going to lie to you. The NBA playoffs have been a sham up to date. And then this was supposed to save it. Like, oh, we've been working towards this. Yep. We've really been working towards this since KD signed with the Warriors in the offseason. But we're, we're here and it's like, okay, take three. Warriors got him two years ago. Cavs got him last year. This is going to be, if there was an eighth game, it would go to it. Right. Right? But right. Obviously, there's not. So, <laughs> um, yeah, what a joke. It, it's So, sorry, is there any way, is there any way the Cavs make this a series, come back, win this thing? I mean, you know I've got a, a pretty embarrassing wager on the line for myself. And I've I picked heard about the Cavs. This. Yeah, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay off street corners, and I, I'm <laughs> not... I'm, trust me, I'm no prostitute over here. <laughs> but I'm trying to stay. Is there any way I'm staying off that street corner? Uh, well, in terms of the bet, just just, just to say, <laughs> I got the uh, part time job. Right. <laughs> uh, you know what? Unless unless there's something we haven't seen, and unless home court makes that much of a difference, and in Game Three, Cleveland just comes out and J.R. Smith decides that he wants to play basketball. <sighs> Amon Shumpert learns how to shoot. Um, well, Mont Shumper's never going to learn how to shoot. Right. Can he play enough defense? It doesn't matter if he shoots, Can I Tristan Tom- I think Tristan Thompson might benefit the most from going home as far as just getting that dog back in him a little bit with having the crowd behind him to maybe own the glass a little bit more because he hasn't shown up. What's he have? Two rebounds in eight game- in two-, in two games? He's got- he's giving uh, – I've given him the Roy Hibbert Award for the postseason. <laughs> like the like he's on a milk court and I've been looking at my boy Pookie. Pookie! Pookie, you see Tristan Thompson? Put out the uh, well, seen him. the APB on him. <laughs> yeah, he's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, look, Golden State was up on them three one last year, and Cleveland makes this miraculous run with the, with the team that won seventy three games. Then you go and you add the best scorer in the NBA to that roster, and Cleveland didn't add another huge piece. What Kyle Korver's not a huge oh, piece? Oh well, I mean, I mean, come on, he is with the ladies. He is with the. He's got that Ashton Kutcher lookalike thing going yes, on. There's something going you know, on off there. the court. I'm sure he's balling. Right. right, but on the court, not no, so much. No, no. I mean, so no, I don't see it. All right, so the, it, it looked we we've been hyped to tell everybody, Josh and Jeff on 104.5 the team, hyped to tell everybody that uh, this is the matchup of centuries. It's going to keep happening. Just just over go and ahead over. and pencil in Golden State and Cleveland. Sure. How does Cleveland get over the top? Because if I'm LeBron, right, I'm recruiting right now. I'm looking. There's two guys on that court right now that I feel like I have a chance to pry away from Golden State. Okay. I fear I can either get Clay Thompson, but he's got a longer deal, or I've only got one more year to wait with like Kevin Durant. I just go like, dude, well, hey, KD, how you doing? First off, I there's been like, did you see the CJ McCollum tweet a couple days yeah. ago? Like, I I really do think Clay is going to try and find his way out. Absolutely. Of there. I mean, how you go from a splash brother to a mash brother. Yeah. I where mean, is he? Where is he? Right. And you don't really need him. You don't. You got Kevin no. Durant, Steph Curry, Draymond Green. Draymond's your enforcer. Can play all five positions. Your your emotional heartbeat. Right. I mean, Clay obviously is a deadly shooter, and you'd love to have him. But he can go do his own thing. Right. He could go. His dad played for L.A. Right. Yes. So yeah. he, so he could go to he could go be the Lakers' new face of the franchise or the Clippers or, or like can you imagine I was saying this the other day can you imagine him in San Antonio. Oh, that'd be a great fit. Because he doesn't talk. No. Which is the San Antonio way. Right. He he will pass if it's not his shot. Him and Kawhi? Oh. And LaMarcus Aldridge? Oh. That could be a team. Get him, get him up. Chris Paul apparently wants to go there, too. There Chris you go. Paul for the, There's your new super team. The only other team that can compete. Wow. That, yeah, that could compete next year. Uh, but that's got to all come together. Sure, sure. So, so could he go to Cleveland? Um, I mean, LeBron's not a two. No. So Kyrie's a combo. Right, right, but but LeBron's like the playmaker of the team. Kevin Love is shooter. I think it could work, but why would why would Clay do that? The only see, I don't know if Clay would because Clay's been in that situation. That's why I look at KD. Okay, because uh, you know KD goes to Golden State to get his ring. Correct, but is it ever going to be his ring? Even though he's playing at the, at the level he's playing at, is anybody going to look at him and go, "Oh, they won because of him"? I I mean, I before the series, I would have said no. Okay, I I mean, I hated the fact. 
that Kevin Durant went to. If you don't beat them, join them. Right. I hated that. Right. Yeah. Can you imagine Ewing on the on the Bulls? Oh my! I mean, <laughs> come on. Or, or Larry Bird on the on the Lakers. Yeah. I mean, yep. come on, get out of here. Magic on the Celtics. Yeah, ridiculous. Yep. So before the series, I would have said no. Now, Kevin Durant's the best player in the series. Outside of LeBron doing what he's doing on a losing team, KD is the difference. I mean, you right. heard LeBron say it after game one. What what did you see from them that stood out? KD. Now, but but Does he leave? No, I don't think so. You don't think he leaves? No, because, I mean, you're already having discussions about is he the best combo him and Steph ever. I mean, like, have you ever heard of Kobe and Shaq? Scotty and Mike, <laughs> uh, no, um, no, I don't. I don't see KD leaving. He even there's rumors out there that he'll take less money All to right. keep this whole thing together. You're home for New York sports. 104.5 The team is Carmelo Anthony, the dude who goes to Cleveland, and is he enough of an improvement over a J.R. Smith or whoever that now they are a legitimate challenge for the Warriors? I to answer the second part of your question first about is he an improvement over J.R. Yes, sure. obviously, right. Uh, I mean, Carmelo. I, I think I, hopefully I threw enough in there. But I didn't throw <laughs> enough in there. Please rewind everything. Put it back. Let me put it. Uh, is he enough of an improvement? Carmelo is a prolific scorer. Right. First, if, if there's anything he can do, Carmelo will get you buckets. Right. Right. And, and the Cavs could certainly use that. Uh, it would slow the game down. I mean, right. all, all everybody's talking about is Cleveland's or Golden State is so fast. Um, he would definitely slow it down for you. He can't play D. That's that scares so me. So right. forget that. I mean, right. Cleveland's having a hard time playing defense right now. Right. If, if LeBron's not on you, you're scoring. I mean, so, so could he go? Sure. I mean, they're boys, right? right? Him and him and LeBron are boys. Uh, the, is, they were on the banana boat together. <laughs> <laughs> is that the missing piece? I don't know. I mean, who's I mean, who's out there right now that that could make the difference? Uh, Jimmy Butler. Yeah, but, but he's kind of like LeBron's position a little bit. He plays right. that three. The the other name that 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 pops up because we know he's not happy where he is is Paul George, and that's another. You say you say he's LeBron, you'd have two LeBrons on the floor. Which basically. which why is that a problem? <laughs> right. <That's laughs> a, so is Paul George the dude then? Paul, hey, you put Paul George in that situation, it could be that that could be the dude. I mean, goes out and gets buckets. A good guy in the locker room. I Actually plays defense. Does, and very well. Right. I mean, he's like the guy you always talk about in the league outside of Kawhi Leonard who might be able to stay with LeBron a little bit. Right. So, yeah. I, hey, if Paul George decided he wanted to go to Cleveland, but I think he's going to L.A. That's, that what, what, that's where he definitely wants to go. Right. So, right. yeah, that would definitely be a great piece. But Can that, LeBron recruit him? If anybody could, it would be LeBron. He is the ultimate like recruiter. I mean, just look at Miami, now look at Cleveland. Yeah, well, the thing about that though is he had. I feel like the reason he left to go to Miami is because they didn't want to go to Cleveland. It's not that right. they didn't want to play with LeBron. It's just that hey, let's play together in Miami. Right. <laughs> South right. Beach is a little bit better right. than Cleveland. Right, and right? Pat Riley was willing to work the Magic. Oh yeah, but Melo was supposed to be in on that team to was go it? back to Melo. Yeah, because originally from from the way I understand it, that's all folklore and myth. Sure. Now, uh, Josh and Jeff, one zero four five, the team. Um, Originally, it was supposed to be Melo, CP3, LeBron, and maybe D Wade. Wow! And, and but uh, Melo signed the big money deal first, right? Instead of waiting for everybody else signing a shorter deal, he he cashed in right away. Which I mean, they put millions of dollars in front of you on the table. You're signing. Yeah, that's hard to turn. What did he turn down? Thirty million, right? If yeah. you leave some some ridiculous that's number, crazy. ridiculous number. So I mean, he ended up doing the hometown discount here of five million dollars over oh. five years. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> give me that discount. <laughs> right. right. I, just give me what he discounted. I will be happy. Sure. Rest but, of my life. But can you imagine, like, at some point, that was part of the... Yeah, that's crazy. Looking back, he's got to be a little, like, kicking himself once in a while. If if he truly is about as winning as much as he says he is. Right. Because I, I think there's, there's some in that locker room that might not say that. I mean, right. he's always the first one to come out there and be like, hey, my teammates weren't playing, or, you know, X, Y, and Z. But are you really? Maybe you're the problem. So I don't know that. I don't know that he's the answer in Cleveland because maybe he brings some of that baggage with him, and and LeBron certainly doesn't want that. Same right. time though, if there's anybody who could temper that and be like, drop your baggage at the door, right. LeBron James. He turned J.R. Smith and Amon Shumpert into basketball players. <laughs> That's cr- I mean, because what were they focused on before they got there? I tattoos, uh, flat top haircuts. <laughs> I, I don't know. Aside I from did that. like Shump's haircut, though. He pulled it, it off. Like the kid in play it's thing. It's creepy now, though. Like now it's some kind of weird, like, 
I don't oh, know. oh, what it is now? Yeah, oh, like, I don't know what the, that's a that's a, it's a like little a tiny beetle or something. Um, what, do, what do they call it? Rat tail on <laughs> yeah. top. It's just weird. With the, I mean, I, who am I to talk about hair? But <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what that is. But yeah, LeBron turned them around. Uh, he could certain. I don't think. I don't think he could turn Carmelo into a defensive player, though. I think okay. like, that's your DNA. Like, right. You right. Either it yeah, or he'll not. never be. I mean, he did get him to work. Remember that? Like, like two years ago. They showed those workout videos where each one of them looked like you know skinny waif models. Like they both lost so much weight in the off season working yeah. out together. Mellow. So yeah. I mean, he could read. He could redefine him that way. But I, I think I'm with you. I don't think he's. I don't think there's anything in in Mellow's makeup that says I want to play defense. No, and and I. But I think I think you hit it on the head though. I think if there's one guy who could come in right now that's not on the Warriors to go to the Cavs. If there's one guy who would join the Cavs now to face this team and close the gap, I don't know about win, but close the gap would be Paul George. Josh like and Jeff, 104.5, the team coming up. Uh, we got Yankees baseball on tonight and have the Jets finally found the leader they've been looking for. Next.